The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifteenth chapter, text number thirty nine, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December seventeenth, nineteen seventy three, in Los Angeles. But Vajra, the son of Aniruddha, grandson of Lord Krishna, had Mathura as the king of the Shura Sena. Afterwards, Maharaj Yudhisthira performed a prajapati sacrifice and placed in himself the fire for clinging household life. So, Maharaj Yudhisthira, first of all, appointed his grandson, Parikhid Maharaj, the emperor of the whole world. Then, he distributed uh, uh, only intimate families because Krishna's family, Jodhina's, Jodhu dynasty, and this <coughs> Maharaj Yudhishthir family, Kuru dynasty, they were related in so many ways by marriage. Maharaj Yudhishthir's uh, mother, Kunti, belong to the Jadu dynasty, means Krishna's aunt, Krishna's father's sister. Similarly, Arjuna's wife, Subhadra, here is Subhadra, he became, she became the wife of Arjuna, sister of Krishna. So there are so many family relationships. Krishna's family and the Guru family. Krishna was not present, therefore Maharaj Yudhisthir was taking care of the children, grandsons. As his grandson was posted as emperor, similarly Krishna's grandson was also situated as the king of Shurasena, in which province the Mathura is here. Mathurāyāna. So, <clears throat> you can read the part word. Maharaj Yudhisthira, after placing Maharaj Parikshit on the imperial throne of Hastinapur, and after posting Vajra, the grandson of Lord Krishna, as the king of Mathura, accepted the renounced order of life. Yes. This was the system that one must retire. Just like at the present moment, although people are asking the president, do you retire, do you resign? He is not resigned. Obstinate. Because he knows this is the first and last chance. I am not going to be elected again. To stick to the post and take as much money as possible. That's all. But formally they voluntarily retire the king. In India also we have seen and so many big, big politicians, they could not give up their political job. Even Gandhi, I wrote a personal letter to Gandhi that Mahatma Gandhi you are recognized all over the world as a very pious man. And you are supposed to be very devotee of Bhagavad Gita. Now you have got your independence. You fought for independence. Now you have got independence. So I request you to take the teachings of Bhagavad Gita to preach all over the world. That was my request. Because I was thinking of preaching this Bhagavad Gita. So I thought that Gandhi's position is better if he takes up this job, preaching of Bhagavad Gita. Many people will give attention. Just as Acharyati is Shrestha, he is a recognized uh, good man, so people will follow. But he did not do so. 
he stuck up to the politics. And unless he was killed by another opponent party, he did not give it up. Similarly, I have seen other politicians also, Jawaharlal Nehru, Pant, they would not give up. Pant was so weak, I have seen. He could not stand even. He was doing like this, all I see. Still he would not give up. Similarly, Jawaharlal Nehru, he was paralyzed. Unless he was dead, he could not give up. This is not Vedic civilization. Vedic civilization is that at a certain age you must retire. Never mind. The age is divided into four parts. Brahmachari, Grihastha, Manaprastha, and Sanyas. Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Sudra. So Vedic civilization means Varnasram Dharma, accepting the institution of four Varnas and four Asram, social and spiritual order. For social order, there must be Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Sudra, and for spiritual order, there must be brahmachari, grihastha, manaprastha, and sannyas. This is the system. So, unless you accept this institution of varnasam dharma, you are not considered as civilized man, Arya, Aryan. Aryan means who are making progress under the institution of varnasam That progress means to approach the Supreme Personality of God. That is the goal. And people do not know that. Not only now, formally also. Nati vidu gatin ke Vishnu. They do not know what is their ultimate goal of self-interest. <coughs> Why Maharaj Yudhishthi is uh, taking, uh, retiring from the... So that is not... To become king is not the ultimate goal of life. No. He has got another ultimate goal of life. He remained as a king as a matter of duty. Just like you work in some office, or as a professional man, you work as a lawyer, you work as an engineer, you work as a medical man, and that you can do because you have to do something to uh, leave uh, livelihood. It doesn't matter. But to become an engineer or to become a scientist or become a medical man or a lawyer, that is not my ultimate goal of life. That is needed to maintain the body body and soul together. But that is not ultimate goal of life. Ultimate goal of life is to realize God. That is ultimate goal. For that purpose, you may be what you are, <clears throat> but you must retire. At the present moment, people retire by force or by somewhere, but they do not know what is the ultimate goal of life. There are many retired men's house in your country, but they do not know what is the ultimate goal of life. Ultimate goal of life is to understand the Supreme Personality of God. Because in your busy life you have got very little time. Therefore, after Grihastha life, fifty years after, not that, more than Panchasadam Manam Bhaji, then you must retire. It doesn't matter whether you have finished your duty or not. It doesn't matter. You must retire. And then after being trained for some time, being retired from the family life, living secluded life, uh, not exactly secluded, uh, 
but detach from family life. Let the elderly sons, daughters, they can take care of the family, and the husband, wife, they travel different places of pilgrimage. Again, they come for some time, but without any attachment, as guest in the house of his son. In this way, when he's trained up, then he says to the wife, now you live with your son. <coughs> they will take care of you. I am taking sannyas. Uh, so everyone has to take sannyas. It is not that a particular man, simply Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, has to take sannyas. No. That is obligation. You must. In Buddha philosophy, uh, everyone has to take sannyas and live as a sannyasi for some years. That is their duty. So Maharaj Yudhishthi prepared himself <laughs> for becoming sannyasi. Sannyasi means renounce. No more family response or any response. Simply to become a pure devotee of the Lord. That is sannyasi. Anasita karma phalam kajam karma karotija sa sannyasi. What is the sannyasi definition? Sannyasi means he works, but not as the uh, enjoyer of the fruit of the world. That is sannyasi. Everyone, karmi, karmi means he is working hard day and night, but he wants the fruit of the world to enjoy himself. That is karma. Sannyasi also will work hard day and night, but he will not take the fruit. It is for Krishna. That is sannyasi. Sannyasi means sat. Nasi. Nasi means renounce. And sat means the supreme truth. One who renounces everything for the sake of supreme truth, he is called sannyasi. That sannyasi formality is to change the dress. But anyone, just like this Maharaj Yudhishthi, Arjuna, and his brothers, they are all sannyasis. But it's still formality. They accept a sannyas, give up the attachment for the house in this way. Because he's king, if he does not set example, then others will not accept sannyas. The system of four orders of life and four castes in terms of quality and work, known as the Varnashram and Dharma, is the beginning of real human life. And Maharaj Yudhisthira, as the protector of this system of human activities, timely retired from the active life as a sannyasi, handing over the charge of the administration to a trained prince, Maharaj Prikshit. The scientific system of Varnashrama Dharma divides the human life in four divisions of occupation and four orders of life. The four orders of life, as Brahmachari, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, and Sannyasa, are to be followed by all, irrespective of the occupational division. Modern politicians do not wish to retire from active life, even if they are old enough, but Yudhisthira Maharaj as an ideal king, voluntarily retired from active administrative life to we prepare have himself. to the politicians, because king means he is also a politician. Uh, as soon as we speak of king, he is in politics. So these are the examples. Although he was also a great politician, he had to fight in the battle of Purushetra. Uh, he had to adopt diplomacy, everything. But not that he would forget his real duty. This is perfect civilization. That one should not forget the real duty. The real duty is to fulfill the mission of the human life. The mission of human life is to understand God. And God is there. We cannot deny God is there. But if we do not know what is God, what is our relationship with him? That we do not. 
just like in your country, the currency notes are advertised. In God we trust. But if we ask anybody, so this is the slogan of your state, what do you know about God? Nobody can do that. They say it is something like this, something like that, but no, everything vague idea. Nobody knows what is God. Neither he knows how to trust in God. That is instructed in the Bhagavad Gita. What is God and how to trust Him? This is the subject matter of Bhagavad Gita. But the people do not know. They simply have the slogan, in God we trust. Nobody knows what is God. But we are trying to give the contribution. What is God? Not only God, His form, His name, His address, everything we are giving. Here is the form of God, Krishna. If you do not believe that He is not God, then you must say, what is your idea of God? If you do not know what is the idea of God, then you must accept from Me. And how can you deny that Krishna is not God? First of all, you have to know what is God. God means the Supreme. That is the dictionary word. Supreme Being. So Krishna is the Supreme Being. Krishna is the Supreme Being. You just see uh, Supreme. Here we see a rich man. He enjoys and his assistants, his managers, his secretaries, they work. Uh, they bring money from business, from factory, and the proprietor enjoy. It's a good example. Similarly, here is God. He is in the enjoying spirit. He is not going to the office uh, to manage his factory. No, he doesn't go. Uh, he simply enjoy. That is, the, that is the injunction of the Veda. Nata sakarjam karanantya, the definition of God. What is God? What is God? The idea is given in the Vedas, Upanishads. Natasakarjam, first thing is that he has nothing to do personally. Uh, that is first qualification of God. If he has to do something personally, then he is not God. Natasakarjam karanancha vidyate, natasya sama adhikascha drishyate. Nobody can be equal to him or greater than him. This is definition of God. Any subject matter. Uh, suppose opulence, riches. So nobody can be richer than God. Or nobody can be equal with God. <coughs> this is greatness. God is great. <coughs> How he is great? That is defined every particularly. He is great because nobody equally rich with him. Nobody is richer than him. That is God. Everybody is poorer than him. Therefore, not sama. Sama means equal. And odhika means greater. How God can be great? If somebody is greater than him, how God can be God is great? If somebody is equal to him, then how is great? Just see how the definition is given perfectly. Natasya karjam karanancha vidyate. He has nothing to do because he is great. Why he, is, he should work? All the subordinates will work. We are all subordinates. Therefore we shall work for God. Ah. But we have made our formula that God shall work for me. Ah. Very good. God give us our daily bread. Uh, we have nothing to do. Uh, simply give us our bread. Uh, what is this? Uh, but the Vaishnava idea is that without giving bread to God, God will die. Jasadama is thinking, if I do not give Krishna to uh, eat something nice, 
Krishna will become lean and thin. That is love of God. How to serve Krishna? How to serve God? Sriman Muti. That is that is real religion. When we are not to take service from God, but we are ready to give service to God. That is real religion. Sabai Pumsang Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhokhaji Alokhaji God is beyond our senses. Therefore, He is Alokhaji. So, that type of religion which teaches the followers how to serve God, how to love God, that is perfect religion. It doesn't matter whether it is Christian religion or Hindu religion, no. If the followers are trained on how to love God, how to serve God, that is perfect. That is being taught here. In this Krishna consciousness moment, uh, there is no such teaching to ask from God, no, to give everything to God. That is Krishna consciousness. That is required. So, Yudhisthira Maharaj is a devotee, therefore, although he, he was the powerful emperor. Still, he is now sacrificing uh, his life for the service of the Lord. This is human sacrifice. At least at a certain point of your life, you must sacrifice. If you haven't got anything, uh, money, then you can sacrifice your life. Pranai ratvai dhyavacha. This human form of life can be perfected. How? How it can be perfected? Prana means life. Artha means riches. Prana Dhyā. Dhyā means intelligence. And bacha. Bacha means words. So we have got four things. We have got our life, and everybody has got some riches, either one pound or one million pound. Everybody has got something. This is called artha, prana, artha, and everyone has got intelligence. And everyone has got the power to speak. So we have to engage all these four things, either four or three or two, at least one, we must engage. Prani Ratvidya Sreva Chajanam Sada. This is the principle of religion or perfect way of life. Then our life will be. There are many other shlokas in Bhagavatam. Atapungvi Dijas Sreshtha Varnasrama Vibhagasa Sanushthitasya Dharmasya Sangsiddhi Haritosana. This Varnasrama Dharma we have already explained. So, any civilized man must be within this category of varnasam dharma. Otherwise, he is enemy. Unless you accept some institution of making progress in spiritual life, you are enemy. That is the difference between animal and man. Man has got some institution, some social structure, some religious structure, political structure. Otherwise, what is the difference between animals? The animals, they, have, they haven't got any president or senate house or parliament or church. That is the difference. So this Varnasana Dharma means one has to accept these principles of Varnasana Dharma and act accordingly. A Brahmin should act according to Brahman principles. Sattva Samadama Titikha. The Kshatriya should act accordingly. The Vaishya should act accordingly. The same example as we have given many times that I have got my head department, arms department, belly department, and leg department. To keep the body free, everyone should act very nicely. Brain should work nicely, arm must be strong, belly must be fit to digest, full stop, and leg must work. Similarly, these things, the Varnasana Dharma is necessary. It is not a convention. It is not a convention that the Hindus or the Indians, they, they are only Brahmins. No. Here are also Brahmins. 
because it is creation of God. God's creation must be there. Now this Krishna consciousness movement is speaking of who are the Brahmins. They are mixed up. They are mixed up. So long there was no picking up of the Brahmins. Now by this movement, Krishna consciousness movement, we are picking up the Brahmins because there is need of Brahmins. Because brain is not here. Uh, they, brain is, Brahmin means the brain. They must have knowledge. Uh, that is Brahmin. Brahmin in India, the Brahmins are called Pandit, although nowadays is full number one. So that, that, but it is the title of the Brahmin to become Pandit. Pandit. He must know everything. Satyasana. Jnanam vijnanam asikam brahma karma sabhava. We must be very wise man. Jnanam vijnanam. Practical application. Vijnanam. Jnanam vijnanam asikam. And not nasty, not atheist. Jnanam vijnanam means one must know what is God. That is Jnanam. And brahma janati iti brahmana. Brahmana means one has already known God. That is Brahma. Therefore, people should go to Brahma. Without becoming a Brahmana, one cannot become Guru. Because if he does not know Brahma, Paramatma, Bhagavan, what kind of Brahman he is and what kind of Guru he is. So, uh, therefore, uh, one must know the ultimate truth, Bhagavan, Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan, not sign and simply by understanding Brahma or Paramatma, but he must know what is Bhagavan, Krishna, Sri Bhagavan, Sam. Bhagavan is Krishna. That is the verdict of the Buddha. Krishna, Sri Bhagavan, Sam. So a Brahmana, even the good qualification. But if he does not know Krishna, then he cannot become Guru. That is the injunction. Short karma nipuna vipra. Vipra means Brahma. <coughs> nipuna means very expert. What? A short karma. Brahmana's business is six. Kathan, pathan, jajana, jajana, dana, pratigra. Brahman must be learning. And he must make others learn it. That I am learn, learned man, I don't care for others. No. He must teach others to become Brahman. Patan part. Jajan Jajan. He must worship God and he must teach others also how to worship God. Jajan Jajan. Dana Pratigraha. Brahmana's business is not to do any trade or professional. He takes charity. Pratigraha. But dana. Therefore in India it is said, if a Brahman gets one lakh of rupees, he still is a beggar. Why? Because he does not keep it. If he gets one lakh of rupees now, next moment he will spend it for Krishna. Dana Pratigyana. So even though one is expert, Patan Patan Jajan 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 Pratigya, always Nava Guru Rasasya. Satkarma Nipuna Vipra Mantra Tantra Vishara. He is expert in reciting all the mantras, Vedic mantras. He knows everything. But he is not a Vaishnava. You will find nowadays impersonalist, boyish, so many Brahmas. They have no idea what is the what is God, who is God. That is God. A Vaishnava. Vaishnava knows what is Vishnu, what is God. But always now, non voice now, they do not know. So this is the <coughs> formula that even one Brahman is expert in all knowledge, <coughs> but he does not know who is God. Guru no sasya. He cannot become Guru. This is the stricture. Shad Vaishnava Sapacha Guru. But a sapacha, sapacha means dog, dog eaters. They are considered to be the lowest of the mankind, dog eaters. There are different types of eaters, cow eaters, goat eaters, and camel eaters, these eaters, that eaters. There are so many. 
out of that it has one who is the dog he is considered the lowest so even a person coming from the family of dog eaters if he knows who is god he can be guru this is the, this is the intention of the shastra one who knows god he cannot remain dog eaters but sometimes he comes from there so but shastra says yes when he has learned uh-huh, and the science of god then uh, he can be accepted as guru that is the confirmation of chaitanya mahaprabhu kiva vipra kiva sudra nasikane noy jei krishna tattva vetta sei guru hot who can become guru anyone who knows the science of krishna he can become guru that is it jei it doesn't matter किवा विप्र किवा शूद्र नैसी कहने ही मे भी ए ब्राह्मण ही मे भी ए शूद्र ही मे भी ए सन्यासी ही मे भी ए गृहस्थ इ डजन मैटर ही मे भी यूरोपियन ही मे भी अमेरिकन ही मे भी इंडियन इ डजन मैटर इफ यू नोज दि सैंस जे ही कृष्ण तत्व मिलता से ही गुरु हाँ सो इट इज नॉट लिमिटेड अंडर सर्टेन कंट्री सर्टेन एटमोस्फियर और सर्टेन पॉपुलेशन Krishna consciousness is open for everyone. So, therefore, our request is that these Europeans and Americans who have taken to Krishna consciousness just become perfect in the understanding of the science and become guru and deliver the whole world. Thank you very much. Jai.